Hey guys, welcome to another beer review tonight. Um, this beer is actually coming from next door. It's coming from my neighbor Kelly. Shout out to Kelly for the Lambic, Black Current Lambic. I guess it's called Lambic or Lambic. I don't know. It's a, it's a, it's a Belgian. Ah, yeah. Oh, so there's the bottle. Check it out. Yeah. Cool. All right, let's try it out. I'm gonna try to open this. It's got some foil on it. It's fancy. Real fancy. Oh, Jesus. There's a cork. Alright, guys, I'll be right back. All right, there we go. All right, let's pour this sucker out, shall we? Ooh, that's pretty. All right, so look at the color of that. It's like a dark purple. It almost looks like a wine, like a red wine. It smells like a, it smells like a sour ale. I'm getting a sour smell. The head is like the head is like super thick though, little tiny bubbles, but it looks like it's real like thick. Yeah, I'm smelling like I'm smelling like um, like a like a dark grape or like dark cherry kind of smell, and then it smells sour though, like super sour. I'm gonna taste it. Mmm. It's not sour, it's tart. Super, super tart, though. It's like lip smacking. Mmm. But I do taste the currants. It's very, uh, very, very tart. It's probably the tartest beer I've ever had. The mouthfeel is really creamy, though. It feels really good. Yeah, I do taste, it does taste like currant. Like, you get a strong, overwhelming currant taste. This is a very fruit-forward beer. But you still taste, like, the Belgian yeast. This reminds me of the uh, the Castile, the Rouge that we tried not too long ago. But this is a lot more tart than the Rouge. Um, but it tastes, it tastes unlike any other beer I've had before. It's really good. Mmm. I keep going back to drink it because it's so good. <laughs> Yeah, man, I'm gonna give this. I'm gonna give this high score. I'm gonna give this a 90 out of 100. It's really freaking good. Cause I've never had anything like it. It's super different, and um, I just really like it. I just want to keep going back to drink it, cause it's so good. <laughs> uh, so I don't like the cork though, uh, and I didn't take points off, cause this is 12 ounces, I think. Yeah, look, it's 12 ounces. So it's a Belgian beer, but they didn't short you on the ounceage, cause usually these are 11.2 if you watch the last review. Um, so let's read the can or the bottle. It says Belgian malt beverage with natural flavors and natural sweetener. Um, authentic Lambic Brewery for six generations. Product of Lezenbeek, Belgium. <laughs> I probably murdered that one. Appealing tart, black currant flavor and character, wild yeast fermentation, exceptional complexity. And I do agree, it is it is very complex. It's and it'll probably get better as it warms up too. Uh, crafted by wind, brewed through generations. Uh, Lindemans Cassis, Lambic made from local barley, unmalted wheat, black currant juice, aged hops, and wild airborne yeast. Hmm. True Lambics are rare. All come from one of fewer than a dozen breweries in Belgium's uh, Seine River, S-E-N-N-E, -N -N -E, did I pronounce that right? Uh, River Valley, a region about 12 by 75 miles in size. Uh, this, is a, this has been family owned since 1822. Holy shit, so this is like really old stuff. It's awesome, man. All right, well guys, when life's a little crazy, get yourself a little hazy, but uh, Guys, go go freaking east and get yourself some uh, Belgians because they are kick-ass. All right, stay thirsty, my friends. I'll see you very soon. Peace.